The family of a woman shot and killed by a suburban police officer in March is now suing the city of Elgin. It says they, that police had every option not to use deadly force. NBC5's Chris Coffey is in our newsroom to explain that. Chris? Hi, Dick. The family says responding police officers plan to use non-lethal force, but when their sister got scared, the family says one of the offers, officers did not follow through with that plan. Police say after a chase on Interstate 90 and an hour-long standoff in March. Cynthia, step out of the car for me. Get out of the car. Cynthia Clemens set her car on fire, then emerged with a knife. The 34-year-old mother was shot three times by Elgin Police Lieutenant Christian Jensen. Amen. You do not play God. My Amen. sister loved everybody in spite of whatever was going on in my sister's life. She was a loving, caring person. Today, Clements's family filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of Elgin, Jensen, and other officers. They say officers knew Clements was having a mental health crisis and could have used a stun gun or rubber bullets instead. There's no indication that when she put one foot on the ground after stepping out of the car that there was any imminent threat of bodily harm or death to any of those officers. But Jensen decided to end it for Cynthia anyway. Lawyers say Clements was obeying officers' commands and say the police actions raise questions about racial profiling. It was an unjustified and unconstitutional shooting and killing of a woman in crisis. In a statement, the city of Elgin said it understands and respects the family's need for answers and asks for patience while the state police completes its investigation and the Cook County State's Attorney conducts its review. Meanwhile, family members say they'll never be the same without their sister. She was um, just full of life. She was humble. She was just everything. My family cannot begin to explain the horror of the situation knowing that my sister's life was abruptly ended by police officers who had every option other than to use lethal force. Lieutenant Jensen is currently on administrative leave. The Elgin Police Department has said that it released that video to be open with the community. Chris Coffey, NBC5 News. Chris, thank you.